All right, we're live. To the flag of the United States. One nation under God and liberty and justice. This is Reed, Mr. Stubb here. And we have a special meeting tonight, purpose of which is to discuss the vacant trust in the group.
I think so. Is it up there? Yep, you're I have a motion to go back into regular session. I'd like to make a motion to make a motion to go back into regular session. For a second? I'll second at 718. Mrs. Reed? Yes. Sister Stone? Yes. And we are back in regular session at 718. All right. Um, at this time, um, I just want to thank everyone for coming, and I'm very pleased that we've had seven applicants. People are um, excited and wanting to join the local government, and obviously the more people that we have willing to come and um, help, the better. And so I love to see this crowd of people and that we had to move the venue. So um, I think that they can hear. I just want to say I appreciate everyone coming. Yeah, um, for the procedures and the expectations, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Dusan. It's going to give us some guidance on that. Mrs. Reed and Mr. Stubbs have asked me to explain the process we're going to go through. As you saw in the original notice where we solicited names, where the board solicited names, uh, each candidate will be asked to give a presentation up to five minutes. Following that, there will be a up to five minute question and answer time, starting with the board. We will have three questions at most in total. Uh, each of the um, trustees can ask one. If they choose not to ask a question to that particular candidate, then that question of the three, that would add another one to the audience. Uh, we will not act unless there are, if there are more than one person who wishes to ask a question of any given candidate, I will hopefully randomly select that I won't go to the same person for each candidate. And also, you should be aware, unfortunately, Mr. Brent Walters, Brent Walters, I'm sorry, Mr. Brent Walters is not here tonight. He has a family emergency and he has a family member who's in the hospital having surgery. So the board has decided they will consider him solely based on his resume. So for the presentations, um, I went reverse alphabetical order. So the teacher in me just, I know with an R last name my whole life, I always wanted to go towards the end. So I switched it up. Um, and so Mr. Walters would have been first, but, um, as Mr. Houston stated, he was unable to attend. So um, Ms. Ritzy, I believe you're up. Yes, yeah, at the podium, please. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Um, so I'm Lindsay Ritzy, and I think I've met a couple of you before. It's nice to see you again. Nice to meet you. I communicated with email. Um, so I have lived here in German Township for just over three years. Uh, I live on Little Twin. And before that, I lived, I owned a, ho a home in Dayton uh, when I moved back to the area for grad school. Um, for about nine years. And then before that, I grew up nearby in Phillipsburg. So another small community then kind of had that, that close knit feel. Um, graduated from Northmont in 2003. And moving from Dayton here to German Township, uh, that move was mainly to be near my in laws so that my daughter could grow up near her family. She's, her name's Avril, she's four. And um, she's got cousins in the area and um, she just started 
pre-K this past year. So she had her first year of pre-K and she's getting ready to start her second year. Um, just really wanted her to be in a close-knit community like I got to grow up in. Um, I remember living in Deaton many years ago, the first time I drove down Market Street to go to the Metro Park, just loving the vibe of the community and just really being able to envision myself living here. So, um, so now I get to be involved. My daughter played soccer in the fall. She's done dance all year. I get to, um, I've gotten to connect with her teachers, lots of teachers in the preschool, lots of classmates and parents that we've gotten to know and um, really build a connection here. Um, so I'm really proud to live in this community and definitely proud to support the community. And, and that's my goal in, in potentially being part of the board of trustees. So uh, outside of work, um, so I'm a physician assistant. I work at Miami Valley. And um, outside of that, I've been involved in the Montgomery County Republican Party Central Committee for the past four years. Um, I was just recently elected to be the precinct captain for here in my district in German Township. Um, also served as the treasurer for the Young Republican Women of Dayton during that time. Uh, so being involved in that way has introduced me to the importance of um, government at the local level, because I really believe this is where the, the big changes happen, even though it seems like they're small changes, because this is what affects us all on a daily basis. This is what's going to impact us most. Um, so I've gotten to be involved in various campaigns and community service events through, through those groups. Uh, in so my goal and potentially being a, a trustee would be just to really help the community thrive and grow um, as a place that I live and that I'm invested in as a homeowner and as a parent, um, as a conservative, my philosophy is kind of to, to be responsible in voting, to be a good steward of all of our resources. Um, there are certainly issues that affect everybody in the community, and I think it's important to prioritize those, especially when financial decisions are, are being considered. Um, I definitely respect the hard work that everybody has to do to, to keep their own family supported. Um, so I wouldn't want to unnecessarily burden anybody when it comes to taxes and, and that sort of thing, if it can be avoided. Um, I just really want to see the community thrive and um, and want to be able to have a hand in that. Um, Yeah, I think I think the biggest changes that can happen in the world can really start at the local level. If we can empower our communities and support our communities, then we can help go out into the bigger parts of the world and and show that love and um, support to other people. So I'd be honored to have that opportunity as a trustee. Right, thank you. Yeah. This is Reed. You have a question for Ms. Vincy. My question is: If you were to be selected. Would you want to run again? Yes. To for the next for the next session. one. Yes. yes. The next this position, I believe it is if you would be selected, I think it is until November of twenty twenty one. I believe that's when the election would be until the term. Yes. Mm -hmm. So and so would be the election will be done. Yes. I would love to be involved in as, as long of a capacity as I can and as long as I can be providing valuable input. So Thank you. I, I don't have any questions at this time. Okay. Mr. Stubbs has passed on his question. We can take two questions from the audience if anyone wishes to ask more than this. Week. Any questions from the audience? Thank you very much, Ms. Ritzy. Thank you. Next up is Mr. Wimmer. I wanted to make sure I pronounced it correctly. Okay, how, how do you say it? Wimmer. Okay. 
It's a good German name for German Township. <laughs> Hi, good evening. My name is Tyler Raymer. Uh, I'm happy to have this opportunity to introduce myself and explain why I think I could be a, a good service person and uh, provide the township a lot of benefit. Uh, I'm a resident of Meadowview Estates and off of Jamaica Road. My wife and I are raising three daughters that attend Valley View local schools. I'm a director in Global Treasury at the Procter & Gamble Company. I spent my 13-year career as part of a world-class finance organization at Whirlpool, Caterpillar, and now Procter & Gamble. Uh, I'd like to take this moment here to summarize why I'm standing here in front of you guys today. Uh, I'm a proud member of German Township, just as Lindsay mentioned. Uh, I believe I can continue to build pride and community here in German Township. I think we can deliver the key emergency services the township provides while continuing to improve our roadways, which is a key aspect of any thriving community around here. Um, I think we can all do all these things and achieve these things without unduly burdening our citizens with tax revenues or tax raising um, through the revenues. Now, I believe my education, my experience and my enduring perseverance will be serving this role very well. Um, so with that, I'll take the remainder of my time and I just want to communicate three simple reasons that I think I can be a benefit and be the right choice to be a steward of the township as a trustee. Uh, number one, I have a very strong financial background. I'm a certified public accountant and a certified management accountant. That accounting and financial base gives me a strong understanding of budgets and tax revenues. I have spent several years as a cost analyst controlling costs, a budget manager, and a commercial finance manager maximizing revenue streams. I clearly understand the utmost importance of minimizing costs while also understanding that revenue growth is necessary to fund the programs that are most important in maintaining our community that we're all proud of. I understand the importance of balanced budgets. I understand the importance of discipline, discipline and moderation. Number two, I'm very passionate about our community. I have lived in several great towns, both in Ohio and outside the state. When we decided to move back to Ohio as a family and set our long-term roots, we chose German Township over moving closer to where I work in Cincinnati because we really like this community. My parents graduated from Valley View. I went to Preble Shawnee. I'm very aware of what the history, um, what the community's like and been like over a long period of time. Uh, I've lived here for over four years now, and I'm committed to living here over 40 years, God willing. Um, I recently participated as a member of the Valley View Levy Committee, and my wife is equally involved and committed to our community. Number three, I have a bias for results, not action. A lot of people say that they have a bias for action. I fundamentally disagree with that. I don't like to do things just to say I'm doing something. I'm sure there are many things that we're managing very well at the township and it shows up and those things do not need to change. However, I'm sure there's areas that we can improve on and I wanna be measured on the results and held accountable to those results related to those areas. Talk is cheap, results are not. I think passing the school levy after years of failure is an example of my ability to understand complex issues, communicate important points, and also influence results. Again, I appreciate this opportunity to represent um, our township, and I hope that you will find my financial experience, my passion for our community, and my results-driven mentality as reasons to believe that I can deliver in the role of trustee. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Raymond. Mr. Stubbs, do you have a question for Mr. Raymond? Uh, the levy was pretty, uh, it passed this time, but over the past, it's gone back. Sure. So as a levy committee member, how do you get the people on the other side to support you uh, in this position? Sure. You know, and I've only been here four years, so the whole history is not known to me because it's been going on for seven years. But uh, when I got here, I felt like there was a lot of misinformation in the public, which often happens, especially in small town communities. People just pass on what they hear as in telephone. And um, I took the time to dig into the finances because the numbers generally never lie and try to understand our situation compared to our surrounding communities and realize that we had a situation where we actually needed funding. And I'm, I'm a fiscal conservative, a, a CPA, but it was time that we needed tax revenues. We hadn't passed 11 in seven years. And so I, I took about going to communicate that information on the website. I created an entire financial package uh, and delivered it and disseminated it to the community, created flyers that we passed out thousands of flyers to the community. So um, it's difficult, but that's where my perseverance comes in is that, you know, if there's something you're passionate about, you can't just sit on the sidelines and complain about it. You got to get active. You got to educate yourself. And you also have to take it upon yourself to educate your constituent and, and people in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Reed, do you have a question? I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Mrs. Ritzy. Sure. Uh, if 
if you were to get this, would you run again? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I, I look at this as an opportunity for me to, uh, you know, show you guys what I can contribute, but also learn a lot, a lot about this role and understand uh, where I can create value. But that, that just gives me a leg up next time we can run so I can have a, a strong platform of understanding all these issues deeply. And so I know where we can impact the community with and I can get that message out. So absolutely, I would run. Does anyone in the audience like want, want to ask Mr. Raymer a question? Mr. Raymer, could you go to the mic and would you repeat the question? Yeah, I apologize if it seemed as I said that we would never have to raise tax revenues or anything like that. I think we can maximize revenues um, by doing different things, potentially bringing in businesses into the community, not putting the burden on the citizens directly and potentially doing it through business revenue um, with property taxes. So I think there's other ways to do that. I, I honestly can't tell you that the roads, the specific roads that we maintain within this township, the ones that need it. Um, so that would be something I would look to get involved with. The, I think there's two full time employees that manage the road department. I would look to understand more about where we're at with that, what the revenues are coming in for that budget and how we're managing. And just before you walk away, repeat yep. the question that you just answered. I'm sorry. I was asked uh, how I would go about improving the roads without raising tax revenues. Thank you very much. No Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Next up, we have um, Erica Ham. Good evening. I wanted to thank the Board of Trustees, Mark Houston, um, Haley Sewell, I think that was Haley, yes. Haley. Yes. <laughs> and St. John for allowing us to have this here so that we can all feel socially distanced and safe and still be included. My name is Erica Ham, and I have been a resident of German Township for over 25 years. I am currently a teacher at Valley View Primary. And I am my wife and a mother of two Valley View graduates, as well as being a graduate myself. As my youngest son was approaching his graduation this year, which we all know is a little difficult, um, I realized that I was transitioning into another part of my life. And so I decided I wanted to figure out how I could give back more to the community. And so when this opportunity came around, I thought that that might be a great starting point for me. Um, through my residency, uh, or the, the time I've lived here, we have traveled a lot and we've been to a lot of different places that have had amazing communities, which we've often said this would be a great place to live. But we've always come back to Valley View. We've always come back to German Township because this is where our heart is. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever saw it, but there was a video that was on Facebook that was, um, this is my hometown. And it was put in and talked about before the levy and all the things that my son made that because my sons want to continue to live in German Township. We are invested. Um, I, and it is my desire to run as township trustee so that I may help to ensure that our community continues to grow and prosper. I believe that I possess many qualities that will allow me to be a valuable member of the board of trustees. I have served on many leadership teams in the Valley View School District. I collaborate well with other colleagues and I am genuinely interested in their feedback and input. I adapt well to rapidly changing circumstances as we've witnessed with <laughs> two days notice to teach from home. And so I am able to, to adapt and, um, and bring about change. I believe that I will bring a fresh perspective to an integrity and enthusiasm to this position it is my goal to be productive immediately and become an asset to the board. I do not believe that lack of experience is necessarily a detriment. Everybody has a starting point. Everybody had their first year where they started. And I do believe that experience does not necessarily equate to productivity, pro sorry, productivity, and I believe I retain the attributes that would allow me to positively contribute to the tr trustees board. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Reed, you have a question? Yeah. Are you going to run? Yes. I think I'm going to ask everybody that question. Mr. So Reed. you're preparing for it. Did either one of us contact you prior to the meeting? No. And finally, any questions from the audience? Mrs. Ham. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Yep. Lauren, Lauren. Did I say that correct? Is it Dima? Okay. I'm Laura Dima. I've lived in Durham Township and Gentown my entire life. I um live on Diamond Mill Road with my husband and my three children. And actually my youngest daughter just graduated from Valley View. And I absolutely love this community. I moved, well, we lived in Cincinnati for two years when we were first married. And I moved back here because I knew this is where I wanted to raise my children. And I wanted to be around my entire family that lives here. <laughs> So we are strongly invested in the area and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, I, I'm sure you've all read, you've read my resume. I do have some business experience with dealing with the JED and some tax incentives and that sort of thing. And um, I would like to use that experience to for future planning and and making this a place that it's it's to keep it great <laughs> because um, there's so many great things about the metro parks, the community, the the schools, everything. There's not really anything that I would say I would pinpoint needs to be. Guys, I guess basically I think you've done a great job. <laughs> And um, I would like to keep things on that track. And much like Mrs. Ham, I have gotten to that point in my life where I would like to give back even more. I don't work a full-time job, so I have plenty of time to commit to this position, and I'm happy to do so. So, and I think I have a nice, um, understanding of not only business but also the farming community because I grew up on a farm and I currently live on a farm. Um, and I just would like to make it a place for everyone to feel comfortable and want to come back to and, and live here and enjoy. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Mr. Stubbs, I think you're first to the first question. I do not have a question. Really? If you win, if you get that switching right in the next election. Absolutely. I think just like any mom, I would love to see my children come back here and raise their kids. And so I would like to, to keep the great things going. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank finally, you. any questions from the audience for this evening? Yes, um, I, I've noticed from the list are a number of people uh, that have uh, not had an opportunity to serve in the community by uh, different uh, boards. So if you are not selected to the position, you consider serving on the voting commission of the board for the board of year, you know, you get some experience dealing with you know, how to serve the rising code, getting to know some leadership of the workers. Those are excellent. I can extend that to all the folks who are on this list. If they're not selected, we would gladly take them. Before you answer this, Athena, just quickly summarize what Mr. Coben said for the people listening online, maybe not even in here who could hear it. Sure. Um, Mr. Jacoby asked if I would be willing to serve on, to, to gain experience on another board in the community. And and absolutely, and I I think you can also serve on the zoning board and be a trustee. No, no. Okay, so no. Yes, I'd be more than happy. And since Mr. Stubb didn't ask a question, we could take a second audience question if anyone has one. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mark Cross, now you're up. I apologize, I messed up my double order. Mark Cross, 7444 South Sky Reserve. I do have a question. It's look at your user comments after the presentations. It's not on me, uh, apart from the questions. I don't believe so. You're going to have no visitor comments from anybody else that's here. I don't. I don't believe so. That's not something that we have discussed. No. Okay. In that case, uh, I'll present a petition to the trustee to have uh, we, the undersigned registered voters of German Township, endorse Mark Cross for appointment to the Board of Trustees by Trustee Avery Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Okay, I again wish to thank the trustees for allowing me to speak uh, to the board. I am here to inform the board of my interest in filling the open trustee position. And if so appointed, I will plan on running for the position in the November 2021 general election for the remainder of Mr. Byrd's expired term. First, I've been a resident of German Township since February 1994, over 26 years. My qualifications for this position include I served as a German Township trustee for four years from January 2016 to December 2019. I served as a member of the German Township Board of Zoning Appeals for about 18 years from 1997 to 2015. I am currently serving as an alternate member of the German Township Zoning Commission. In addition to serving these positions, I have shown my commitment to the job of German of Township trustee in various ways. Before deciding to run for the position of trustee in 2015, I attended multiple trustee meetings to get a feel for what the job responsibilities were. After leaving office, I have continued to attend all meetings to keep myself informed of township business. While serving as a trustee, I attended the Ohio Trustee Association annual session all four years of my tenure. At those meetings, I attended multiple continuing education seminars and gained valuable information about running a township and being a better township trustee. As a trustee, I worked on various projects to educate and serve the residents of German Township. These projects include gathering information about the use of Narcan by our police department and conveying that information to the board. I also helped facilitate obtaining doses of Narcan for our police department at no cost to the township. Researching and pre presenting to the board and public information concerning Ohio's medical marijuana industry, especially concerning a possible grow operation in our township. Researching and presenting to the board and the Zoning Commission information concerning industrial size solar farms in Ohio. And what I think is my most significant contribution to the township and the Children of Valley View School District, I researched the William K. Fouts Memorial Fund to allow the board to once again allocate money from this fund to help a local organization, Sunshine in a Bag, distribute food to needy students in our district to fight hunger in our community. During my tenure as a trustee, I felt I had a good working relationship with our fiscal officer and our employees. I made regular visits to Mrs. Rohrbach and Chief Anzic in their respective offices. I also visited Road Supervisor Jerry Maholbrook in his office in the service garage to not only see how township business was going, but also just to talk about how their lives were going. If issues arose in the township, I made sure to work through the proper channels to resolve those issues. With my schedule, I was and will be available if someone, something needs to be signed in a timely manner, such as a purchase order, and was and will again be available to attend meetings during the day when the other trustees may not be available. During my tenure as a trustee, these included meetings concerning employee health insurance benefits and interviews for potential police officers. I also believe I have a good rapport with the members of the fire EMS committee upon which I served. To try to increase communication with the city of Germantown, I began to attend German council meetings and made reports of those meetings to our trustees. In conclusion, I feel I would be the best candidate to fill the open trustee position. As a former trustee, I can move immediately into the position and be productive, no unproductive learning period necessary. Also, I was the only, um, only other person besides former trustee Burns to make the effort to file for election, obtain petition signatures and run for the office in the 2019 general election. By my previous actions as a township trustee, I have proven my dedication to the residents of German Township, and if appointed, I will continue to feel the obligate, fulfill the obligations of German Township trustee. As a township trustee, I'll work fairly with both trustees to represent the Germ residents of German Township. As I have previously demonstrated, I am able to work with both trustee Reed and trustee Stubbs, and if appointed, will do so in the future. 
Lastly, again, I want to thank the residents of German Township to voice their support for my appointment at the June 1st special trustee meeting and also those that have supported me by email and Facebook posts. Thank you. So I do have one more question. Did you receive the uh, email letters of, recommend, uh, of support that I emailed you? Were you able to read those? Yes. Thank you. Well, Mrs. Reed, I think your Questions you've asked everyone else, he's already answered another question. question. I, I do. So, excuse me. Reading over um, the list of people that um, have endorsed you, and it says that the Anderson Registered Voters of German Township endorse my cross. How did these people sign this? Is this just people that have said on Facebook? Um, Kurt, Kurt Jacoby handled that and they, they okay. signed digitally. Okay. Over. So, I don't believe everyone on here is a registered voter of a German township. So according to your letter of recommendation that we received, this gentleman is what's not. So that's why I was asking oh, that. Well, most, yeah, most of the there are a few. Okay. Are, yeah, okay. Like Jim Harrison. Yeah, that was the one that kind of stood out. And Sue Taylor was actually. So out of the uh, 55, 60 names on that, 70, 70 names on that list, thank you, sir. Um, you found one Farmersville resident. Sir, right. Mr. Stubbs, do you have a question for Dr. Cross? Uh, I believe his presentation speaks for itself as well as the petition that he submitted. I have no question. Is there a question from the audience to Dr. Cross? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Apple? Good evening. My name's Greg Apple. I've lived on a more farm here in German Township for my entire 46 years. In 1997, I suck, suck, yeah. I began uh, working for Weidel Corporation, where I've managed a pipe crew, excavation jobs, dealing with grades, drainage, as well as uh, dealing with curb street and curb preparation. Also at Weidel's in recent years. I have helped uh, oversee and resolve many situations with the gravel plant, assisting in maintaining maximum efficiency. <clears throat> my wife and I have lived here. My wife has lived here for only 10 years, nine of which we've been married. She, she loves living on our farm and enjoys the peaceful country life. Sometimes we take this for granted, but I realize that our elected officials such as the township trustees are responsible for keeping matters under control as our township grows and prepares for the future. I would, I would look forward to help guide our humble community in the years to come. Over the years, I've seen many changes in our mostly agricultural community. And I must applaud the zoning commission and our trustees in their handling of many matters that affect the great people who reside in the township. I seek this position to give back to our township and help keep it the great place to, to live for many years and, and for future generations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stuff, I think your first time. Um, I, I don't have a question for you this time. All right. And yes, I would, if I were to get this position, I would run again. Thank you. Thank you. So you can take up the two questions from the audience. Anyone have a qu question for Mr. Rapp? I see two hands, so we'll take both of you. Let's start in the back, ma'am. Thank you. And Mr. Jacoby. Yes, he asked me the same question, uh, whether I would be interested in running on the Zoning Commission or another board like that. Certainly. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. All right, I just want to thank everyone. I know it takes a lot of courage to come up here and speak and kind of throw your name in the hat for this kind of position. So um, I appreciate all of you taking the time and effort to, to come here and present yourself and having the courage to do it as well because it 
can be very um, scary, overwhelming. Um, so at this time, um, from the agenda, I would like to make a motion to enter executive session to discuss the candidates that were just presented um, under ORC 121.22. And I did make a typo on the agenda. That should say 0.22 um, G1. I will second that, but before so, uh, thank everyone for coming. Hopefully we have an appointment by the end of this evening. Um, and the six of you that aren't chosen, I really, I hope you run um, for this position in, in a year and a half. Um, last time we didn't even have enough candidates on the ballot. So I hope you guys all take the time to fill out petitions and run um, if you are not selected tonight. Second. I seconded that in there someplace, yes. <laughs> this is Reed. Yes. Mr. Stubb. Yes. We're in executive session at 7.52. I have a motion to go back into regular session. I will second. I will make a motion. Second. And at 23, we're back in regular session. Let me get back to my agenda real quick. Um, during our executive session, um, unfortunately, we were unable to come to an agreement to appoint um, a next or the, the trustee to fill the open position. So at this time, um, to be honest to the candidates, um, we do not have an official in writing kind of as to what that next step looks like. Um, I verbally spoke about that, but I think it would probably be best if we had, we, so we had it in writing. Um, prior to, um, if you just look at the ORC, which I actually have right here, it would say that uh, Mr. Stubbs and I have 30 days to fill the position. If within 30 days we do not make um, come to a decision on that, it would typically go to a party of five um, individuals that um, Mr. Stubbs selected on his petition. There is some, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Burns put on his petition. Um, there is some question, I guess, which is why we're waiting for an official response on that. Um, in the, the group of five individuals then has, has 10 days to choose someone to fill the position. If for some reason, once our three days are up, once their 10 days are up, um, if they, we cannot decide and they cannot decide, then it would go to the probate judge. So that would be the three steps that it would take. Um, and so my understanding of that is our 30 days would need to run its course before if the um, group of five were there before their 10 days would begin that's at least my understanding of this ORC um for the people it's ORC 503.24 um if you want if you would like to look it up and read it like I said we do not have an official um determination about that group of five yet but as of right now we are um, unable to come to an agreement about um, filling that vacant position. I believe uh, that each and every one of you did a fantastic job and would be a fine trustee at German Township. However, uh, I will also believe one candidate has proven himself above and beyond um, that. And I you know, will publicly say right now, I support Dr. Mark Cross for this position. I am, I, Appreciate each and every one of you that applied for it. And I hope you run. I really please do run a year and a half. Um, but I believe that Dr. Cross's experience at the township, as well as this list of names uh, that have been presented to us today, speak volumes to what he's been able to do. And I support Dr. Cross for this position. So I, I, mean, I have to agree. Like I said, it takes a lot of courage and everything. I appreciate you coming. Um, I don't believe that we have any other items on the agenda this evening. So at this time, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. For a second. I think we need to discuss having another meeting in the future because I want us not do our job and go to a committee of five. And when would you like to have? Well, I guess I have some questions about that next meeting. Would these candidates also need to come to the meeting? Is it just you and I? Is it an executive session? It, it's going to be a public meeting, so anyone is welcome um, that, that would like to attend. I say a week from today, 
Schedule another one, seven o'clock. We'll do it again. Um, the presentations have been made. We know who the candidates are. It is our job to make a decision as elected officials of this township. Failure to do so is unacceptable. And if we cannot come to together and make a decision, um, that is, that's not in the best interest of German Township. Well, Mr. Stubbs, we are unable to come to a, um, an agreement tonight. And I think it was, um, we are not taking visitor comments tonight. We, we spoke about that when uh, Dr. Foss mentioned it. Um, but we were unable to come to an agreement during the executive session tonight. I mean, we can go back into the executive session tonight um, to try to discuss it further. Night. I'm sorry, what? I've got all night. I don't have to be at work until 7.30, 7 in the morning, 7, 7.30 in the morning. I'm sorry, but we are not taking visitor comments today again. I would ask that Mr. Jacoby, if you could go back and get official signatures, I think it would have more validity for people on the board. Mr. Sir. Mr. Thank Sir, you, sir. Would you like to go back to the executive session to discuss this this evening? Because we have the people here who are now waiting. That would be up to you. I would ask if you would like to. I will can go back into executive session if necessary, yes. But I've already also stated my case publicly. Um, so that would be where you stand on this, I guess, is what you need to do. Explain. You want you would like me to publicly I want you to explain to the people here either who else deserves it or who doesn't deserve it. I think that's a discussion for executive yeah. I have said from the beginning that I am not going to attack anyone in the audience. I didn't ask you to attack anyone. And I do not plan to do that. I am not going to put anyone down here. I'm not going to say that this person is has these flaws and this person doesn't. I do not find that to be professional, and I'm not going to do that. So if you would like to make it to executive session, if you are willing to discuss this, I have no problem doing that. Just seems silly to drag us on another week. I say we meet again on uh, see the 24th at 7 p.m. Um, I guess valid signatures would be helpful. Um, and I guess we can do it again. We don't have visitor comments now again, Mrs. Cross. Would you like? I would like to make a motion to go into executive session. Right now. For what purpose? Uh, ORC 121.22. Discuss the appointment of an elected or public official. A second. We'll go back in. Uh, hold on, we need to vote. This is the. Yes. Mr. Stubbs. Yes. Yes. 830. I have a motion to go back into right word session. I will make a motion. Second. Mr. Um, sorry, Mrs. Reed? Yes. Mr. Stubb? Yes, 839. Mr. Stubb, do you have a statement you'd like to make? There is uh, no decision that's going to be made tonight, so I'd suggest we meet in seven days, um, which would be the 24th at 7 p.m. Um, I don't believe that going to happen though so um my suggestion is after this that we meet again seven days from today to discuss this again um, as all of you are aware um, we went into two executive sessions where we are still at an impasse um obviously both of us feel strongly in two different ways um and so even though we have tried to come to an agreement that obviously has not happened we're at an impasse and so, even if we meet again in another week, we will still be at an impasse. We can meet together in another six months over the same topic, and we will still be at an impasse. Um, and so, I feel like another meeting would just drag this on, and 
um, we, we've tried to do it and we've, we've done our jobs the best that um, we can, but we're in an impasse and it's not going to be fixed in a week. We, we've tried twice, as you all have seen. So um, I don't believe there's another need for a meeting since you're in an impasse. It's the job of elected officials to make the decisions that best represent the township. I think we need to meet again in one week and discuss, discuss this again if necessary. And not let this go to the committee of five. Who is five unelected people that Mr. Burns just put on his petition? Although I'm sure they're all fine people. So again, we're at an impasse, and so I, I don't believe that that um, one late thing is going to make a a, a difference at all. We're, we're kind of both pretty um, I don't know, strong strong feelings on, on certain things. So um, yeah, I, I don't believe it. Another meeting would solve the problems that we have there's no other business is there a motion to adjourn i will make a motion to adjourn second we are adjourned 841. what's the path forward yet